What is up, Math Made Easy fans? Now today we are going to cover the law of signs. Now, this is a topic, I don't know, I might have touched on it earlier in my channel, but now we are going to, I'm just gonna lay it out real quick and I'm gonna do a quick problem to um, kinda ask you, to kinda test our knowledge of this um, law. Now, um, it's going to be a good video, and I will hopefully do a follow-up video to this about the law of cosines um, next week. Now, I just want to say, this video is going to be great, because we have space needle pen from me going to Seattle last year. I completely forgot I had this, and I think it's going to be cool to record a video with it, so... Thank you to all the Math Made Easy vi viewers from the West Coast. Here we go. So basically, I will show you guys what we are looking at here. So basically, the sine of angle A. Now, we're going to say the 60 is angle A. This 25 is side A. The sine of this over that equals the sine of angle B over side B. So this over this equals the sine of C over side C this. Now, of course, you will need to use common sense while using this law because there will be two solutions to some of this, but I won't get into that. We're just going to touch on the basics, and we're going to try to complete this problem by finding this angle and then this angle using the law of sines and then just the basic, the angles of a triangle are going to add up to 180 um, theorem. Now, let's get started. So, we have the TI Inspire CX2 with CAS, my favorite calculator that I own. I only own two calculators, but that's cool. So, once again, we will take the sine of our angle, 60. Just the square root of 3 over 2, you can just type in square root of 3 over 2, but just to avoid confusing the viewers, we're going to do that. And basically, this divided by 25 is going to equal some number divided by 20. Now, that means that this number divided by 5 fourths is going to equal the number we um, desire. So, answer divided by 5 and then multiplied by 4. We get this. Then let's take the arc sine or inverse sine, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Each are very respectable, we'll say. 69282. And we will control onto that. And we see our angle is going to be 43.8538 degrees. Now, that is this angle. So, we're going to just round to the nearest tenth. So, 43.9. That's supposed to be a 9, sorry. Um... And then this last angle is what we want to find. Um, we're just going to take 180. We'll just do it on the calculator for ease. Subtract 60, which is just going to be 120. And then we are going to take 120 and subtract our answer, which is 43.8538. And we get 76. 0.1462 degrees. So that is quick finding angles using the law of signs and just showing you guys the law of signs. I hope you really liked that video. Definitely a pleasure to make. Math made easy Thursday nights. Everybody loves them. So I will see you guys next Math Monday. And for now, peace out.